Hello everybody, this is Antonio Moore from Tone Talks. Just coming to you today to talk to you about the Kanye West Yeezy deal. A little bit about my background. I did the big piece, Decadent Veil, talking about how black celebrity basically is used to cover up the massive amount of black poverty that we're experiencing across the nation. You know, right now, NYU professor Wolf has shown that the middle black family, the middle black family in America, when you take out the family cars, worth $1,700. To get in the top 5% of black America, all you got to have is 350 in hard assets, which is it, it's not a lot of money. So black families across this nation hardly have $250 to spend on some shoes for Kanye West to feel more important. But beyond that, for them to, to sit back and devise a plan to manipulate black aspiration like this, it's just irresponsible. And I feel like it's my duty, my obligation to point that out, to make sure that you guys understand that. When I look at this deal, that this Adidas deal that Kanye West has done, for them to announce that he somehow has a potential of billions of dollars just to perk people's ears who are, who are struggling so much, who are impoverished so much, it's, it's just irresponsible. And, and for him to do that and take part in that and make that his brand, you just need to be brought aware to, of that. So if we were to look at similar type of situations when... when Apple uh, secured Dre Beats. They secured an actual business in their in their music side of it, and then also the headphone business. When when Instagram was purchased from uh, Facebook, they paid a billion dollars for actual intellectual property. Here, there's just talk. Additionally, what we see is that when a business secures or buys something for a billion dollars, you're gonna get some hard property or at least some intellectual property. Here, you don't get none of that because it wasn't a billion dollar deal. So to start off the whole press release by talking about billions, I feel really puts up a whole veneer around around what really happened, a whole cover around what really happened. It's the it's the it's the perfect example of the decadent veil to display opulence so that people who are poor who wish that they were opulent can feel opulent when they put this stuff on. And and I I just say. While every person has a right to choose, when you manipulate them that way, I don't know how much choice they really are getting. And, you know, as I, as I come forward, you know, and we start looking at, at Kanye West and his announcement not too long ago that he's willing to do a deal with Payless, you know, that he was $53 million in debt. I'm just saying, like, where did that honest man go? And, and I, I think that in a, in a lot of ways, you know, people sit back in these rooms and figure out how to manipulate us and we got to stop with letting them do that we can't hear the word billion and start thinking aspirationally we got to be honest that black people in this country i did a piece on inequality.org i'm going I'm gonna pull it up for you there's six white families in all of america that own more land than all of black american families combined just ted turner owns a quarter of land of what all black america owns this is the reality of what's going on here the cover is to give you Kanye West and have him present that he's about to be a billionaire. So that when you go into your job, when you go into your state office or your senator, or you got to talk to your white friend, they like, nah, it's black people doing well too. And fundamentally, when you look at the numbers, when you realize that black people own less land than they did at the end of slavery, you realize black people aren't doing better. At the end of slavery, we own 14 million acres. Today, we own 3 million, 3 or 4 million. This is the reality of our situation. And you can see it in my piece if you need to know the resources of it all. But we need to get it together. We can't have these people selling us $400, $300 shoes when we were $1,700. And I'm not saying that I have any access to this particular paperwork. But we got to be honest about this whole thing. When it's pitched in a way where Kanye West potentially can make billions of dollars just so that they can say the word billions because they know billions makes you want to buy some more stuff from him. The only way he's going to make a billion dollars is if you pay him a billion dollars. You, the watcher. If you go out there with your last and spend $200 on some shoes. Adidas not giving that man a billion dollars. It's just not happening. The only way that Kanye West will get a billion dollars from this deal if a bunch of black people who don't have it go spend $300 on his shoes. So, in the end, the only way he's going to become a billionaire is if you make him a billionaire. If you go out and overspend instead of uh, instead of buying your kid daycare or sending your kid to some STEM camp so they can have a potential in life, instead of saving for your retirement, instead of buying your house, instead of 
That's the only way he's going to become a billionaire. Because they're not giving him a billion dollars today. It's the potential to be able to exploit you. That's just what this deal is. The only way Kanye West becomes a billionaire is if you make him a billionaire by buying overpriced goods. Hands down. And I, I just need people to understand that, you know. There are deals where people get a, a, a couple billion dollars right out, the, right out the gate because they have something to sell. So, like, you give them all that access to the Instagram subscribers, users that you have, and then in exchange, and also the application, which took a lot of investment, millions and millions of dollars of investment, you sell that in whole to Facebook, and they put that money right in your account. In this case... All he's saying is that I have the potential to show you how to access these other people who don't really have the money to spend on my shoes, but will spend it. And we're going to make that happen by telling them that I'm a billionaire, I'm going to make a billion dollars. So fundamentally for me, when I come back to it, I look at it like like a big a big sham. And, and, and I feel like it's my duty to tell black America that. You know, when I wrote The Decadent Veil, I didn't see a lot of people talking about how black celebrity moved from a, from a Harry Belafonte move from a Sidney Portier, from a Muhammad Ali even, to what we have now. And what we have now is people that are exploiting black people's need to feel successful. And I want black people to feel successful before they go buy those shoes. And I come back to this whole dynamic of, of, of even whether you would buy Adidas before this. So my thing is if you look at your feet as you watch this video and you don't have Adidas on, this shouldn't make you want to go buy Adidas. Kanye West is likely not bringing factories that will make their product better. He's not bringing any kind of new kind of uh, twist to Adidas that's going to make their their product all that more much better. I mean, people could say, oh, he brings design work. And for, and for and if you feel like the design work makes it worth $200 more and you only work $1,700 as you sit and watch this, I wish you the best. Nonetheless, my main thing for this video was just to sit back and say, this whole, you know, black celebrity movement, particularly this as a, as, a, as a perfect example of it, you really need to be aware of it. You need to be aware of how it affects you, your children, your entire family, and be able to speak on it and say why it's irresponsible. While I wish the man the best, it can't be the best at the exploitation of black America. Again, this is Tone Talks. Appreciate your time.